he came out strong second round too. Once he came out strong second round, I was like, what's a rap? I feel like you're tired because yeah. it's heavy shots. Take a lot out of you. Like, oh man. Yeah, man. Cut. He don't want to move. He doesn't move. Was I think it was a head bump, but I got to see why. I don't want to take anything. Good. We asked everybody. What's up, man? What's up, man? Shut up. Maybe I got to watch. He goes right here. I don't want to take anything to do with Got him out of there pretty quick. What happened? He cut me off. <laughs> I sneezed. I sneezed. Three three times. We don't know. You said you sneezed and it was over. We don't know. Keep the one time to take this cat out. Uh, Dig deep into your soul. Three fighters that you would want next. Name. Right now, it's on the last one. Tough game. I'm gonna let my jokes take it. I don't think you're gonna be a dad. Do you know if it's a guy or a boy? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> just <laughs> not, you just. <laughs> I, had, I had dreams about Big Girls a couple of days ago. It might be Adam that's having a girl. Yeah, I had dreams about Big Girls. You were expecting to go 12 rounds. Obviously, you trained to go the distance, but how did you, how did you fantasize about putting it in this way? I mean, I don't want to be some cocky, but like watching him fight before, I knew he's really tough on the pressure. I had a feeling it was going to be like this, but. <laughs> Yeah, I was ready to turn around. I had a fuck up dream, so I called him up like two weeks ago and I texted him and I said, listen man, stay away from me, bro, for the first four or five rounds. And he said, fuck that. He said, nah, I'm going to attack, I'm going in and kill him. That's my style, you know, I'm a pressure fighter. I mean, the way me and Drew fight, bring that pressure, if you're not able to handle that pressure, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble, man. You're going to be in deep trouble. Is there another, for guys like Wilder, for guys like Joshua, for another year, that you need to add, other than just pressure. Well, we gotta step in the I mean, the, the ring verifies everything. So if you go step in right there, you get your hands. I mean, I'm not a fortune teller. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna come to you, do a pressure, it's different. You gonna stay the same? You do one work in there, because you're looking amazing. Yeah, I'm looking good. I got a little buddy. He's asking better than mine. What you trying to say? What you trying to say? It's better than mine right now. You know what I mean? But like I said, you gotta watch the videos from the past. Like everybody before we put pressure on, they can't stand it, bro. And Joshua, he 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 put me on. Look at the Brooklyn. Look at Adrian Popovic. Popovic was trying to outbox him and got tired towards it around. Adrian is scared half of the fight, and then finally he come to a good point. Deontay fought Joshua scared. I I took it to him. It took a little longer. Adam took it to him from the belt. It took him out. So Adam was scared. You can't do this on our body type, man. Because I'm attacked as we we kill we kill each other. Adam talk about kill kill. Deontay talk about kill kill. What are you really getting? They don't even do all that. But we going in. That's just a check. That's my check. It took while to get there. Like that's a check. Yeah, that was a check. Ten rounds to stop all we got and then four, man. Huh? I'm half cut with my hands. So mm. real talk. Okay, everything. He just did <laughs> he yelled it on there right now. He just said Pogetkin. Yo, he mentioned Pogetkin I said. I said yeah, a fight. George Pogetkin would be an amazing fight right now. Next fight. A little before Pogetkin fights for Gazon. 